Welcome to another video today and we're going to be diving into Battlefront 2, the original 2005 classic game as you can see on screen. How crazy is this game? I cannot believe we're having a new remaster in two days. I cannot wait. But I'm just going to be going through a couple of the maps in the game, four in particular. So we're going to go through Dagobah, Jabba's Palace, Hoth and Coruscant. I will leave timestamps down in the description down below for you to skip to each one. We're going to go through them all individually without any of the AI in it so you're going to feel completely alone very isolated just on my own going to be going through the maps having a look looking at the details the sense of scale that they offer and just see if they'll bring any differences with this new game on Thursday if you do like this kind of content and want to see more maps like this on Battlefront 2, please let me know by liking this video and subscribing to the channel. Let me know down in the comments how you feel about this video and if you want me to do some more. So here we are in map number one, we have Dagobah. This is the eerie little planet where Yoda lived and it just gives you such a little sense of eeriness and unease with all the background noises, the mist, the fog, the trees on the floor like this. Oh man, it just gives me the creeps, this map. It used to absolutely scare me. I think sometimes I used to avoid playing this map, being like five or six years old when playing this game. Just listen to the noises that there are in the background. Running around here with no music on at all, with no noises, no shooting. This is just, oh man. Let's look at this place underground as well. Oh my god! I had no idea that was in the game. That's terrifying. Wow, that is nuts. I want to see if that is in the new game. That would be insane. Anyway, just look at the map here. Look how big it is. I'm running around, I've been running around for a long time, and this map is pretty big. So we have these eerie little ponds, they're not very good obviously, graphically, but hopefully in the new game they'll be a bit better. But this is Yoda's little house, I think. I don't think you can get in there, there's nothing actually in there. But yeah, this place has a real enclosed feeling, because all of these walls that just go up, it makes you feel trapped and small, and it's really weird. Especially when you don't really have the time to actually look around and take in the atmosphere. Just when you're constantly in action and battle. What's that? What is this thing? Oh, this Luke's X-Wing. What is that little bright thing? What is that? Is that a bug? <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, I didn't realise that was in it. This is nuts. This is bringing back some proper, proper nostalgia. Okay. Can you recognise this map right here? This next one. If you guessed it, yes, it is Jabba's Palace. This place used to absolutely terrify me because of two things. We had these neutral little guys who would run around everywhere being the guards or whatever they're called. They look like pigmen. And we also had this scary looking guy, Jabba, right here. He used to eat this little thing right here. I'm not sure what it is. What the hell is it? He'd have the same over and over looping thing. Whoa. What the hell was that? There was a noise. Anyway, when you would go down here towards this area, you have this Rancor. This scary looking man right here from episode 6. When I got to this point, I'd be like, oh my god, no! The fact that he would then poo you out on the other side and you just fall through the map, that was so weird. We got their sleeping areas, I suppose they are. Yeah, I'd assume they would be. And running around here, we have these little vents areas that a lot of these battles would actually occur around here. We've got some very cool looking eerie places. This is Jabba's area again. It's just weird that there's a battle going on. There's people shooting and everything. And he's just sat there, enjoying the whole scenery, eating his whatever the hell that is. And yeah, it was just so strange. There is also one part of this map that I never saw, and I've recently seen this. This part is pretty morbid, pretty scary as well. But over here, in this area right here, I believe it is. Here we go. We just have this guy. Just take a listen. It was just this one droid that gets continually tortured. This thing is pretty nuts because it's just here. Like, everything around here has not got a lot of detail. 
and there's just this one animate thing right here. And he just screams and screams and screams. You can't kill him. You can't put him out of his misery. You can't get do that. Oh god, I'm gonna kill myself. You can't actually kill him or get rid of him. He just sits here being in this torture machine, which obviously stretches you out, relieves you for a second, and straight back into it. Jabba's Palace is scary, man. It is a creepy old place, but I mean, it works with the story, works with the movies, because it is a very scary looking place. This was the prison area, I think? Yeah, so this place was very scary, very creepy indeed, but you never really got to take in all of the actual creepy aspects of it when you're running around. This is why I've thought this is such a good idea, just to figure out What's going on in these maps? What went through the minds of the designers as well? We have over here Hoth, the biggest map in the entire game. Just look at this. You could run everywhere in this. Honestly, you could run every single place in this map. There's indoor battles, there's sky battles, there's outdoor places. That guy just died for no reason. And honestly, this place was nuts. The fact that you could actually drive the 8080s in the distance Basically the goal of this video is to show you how actually creepy this game was and eerie when you're alone and there's no music, no shooting and stuff going on and you've got all of these walkers waiting to be driven and they're just not. They're stood there waiting. But yeah look, on the map I can run all the way back here because this was the place where the AT-ATs would spawn to give them time to actually get over to that area so the map would actually last a little while. I think they did a really good job with this map to be fair. The background and how far it goes out and the mountains just makes you feel so alone and isolated in this area. But anyway, yeah, looking on the map, I could actually run all the way back here. Absolutely nowhere to go, as you can see in the distance. It's just pure wastelands. It just shows in the movies how open and isolated you'd feel. Yes, is the enemy command post with the two turrets. This looked cool, actually. I like this area. So you'd run in, be attacking this area, and they'd be defending it, trying to shoot away. That just died? Did something just fall over and die? I don't know. But anyway, it's got all these buzzing noises and beeping of whatever these are. These are like the control areas. Pretty detailed as well, to be honest. Obviously, you pixelated when you go up close, but pretty cool. But anyway, we've got inside these tunnels, we have all of these pipes that just spurt out, what is this, gas or air or something? I don't know what it is. My screen just vibrated for no reason. But there's loads. There's loads of them. I'm not sure what they are or what the purpose is. This area has been completely caved in. Wow, look at this. The control center where everyone would be. I have a feeling this shaking is part of the movies. You know, when they're running away, they're being shot at. It's trying to give you that immersivity as well. Is that even a word? Just to try and make it that much more immersive. When you've got the feeling of panic running through these hallways just while it's being shot at. Yeah, they did a really good job on this map. And here is the space area. Yeah, here we go. Like the airport area, spaceport, whatever you call it. Hangar, that's the word. Millennium Falcons just sat here. Quite pixelated, but... I thought it was cool that it's here. Can you climb up here? No. But yeah, it was quite cool how they had that Easter egg of the Millennium Falcon here. We have some speeders that you can actually ride yourself. They do damage if you shoot them as well. Didn't know that. Is there more areas over here? I think that's about it really over here, isn't it? And here we are with the final map. This used to be the map that I would play the most just because of how good it looked. We're on Coruscant. Just have a look at this. How cool this hallway is. It was such a big area, just with the Jedi Temple area in here as well. Oh man, I love this area. This is the council meeting room, I think. Yeah, look at this. You can see out the windows, the background of the actual city itself. Just gives you that sense of so much going on in the background. It's so cool. This used to be the middle area here where all of the battles would go on, the main battlefield. Oh man, this brings back so many memories. I used to be Mace Windu jumping from there all the way here, doing that little bash thing he does on the floor with the lightsaber. What the hell is that? Oh, we've got big ships and stuff moving around as well. But yeah, look at all this. you got all the buildings in the background. It's a night sky with the stars. It's very cool. It has even like pictures back there, as you can see. Just to show that the buildings go really far back. Look, there's actually behind them. So it's a sense of scale as well of how far away they are. And something I never actually realized in this game was on the floor of Coruscant, is that just a set of buildings that are on the side? Because I think they're windows. 
They look a bit like windows to me, I'm not sure. So this main battle area had access to all four points. This is just the middle area, as you can see, the main part. And we have the secondary main part here, which is the Jedi Archives room, which I thought was very cool. As you can see, you can actually destroy the bookcases, which I thought was quite cool. You can stick your grenades to it. I'll, just, I'll destroy it just to show you what it does. I used to like sitting here, watching enemies come through, taking cover behind this little area right here, and just shooting them from there. This was a great head glitch angle. But just running around with no music, on your own, feeling isolated, it just gave you that sense of creepiness. It just feels eerie, doesn't it? But yeah, the man, this I can't wait for a Thursday. I'm doing this in preparation just because hopefully we can revisit some of these maps and see what the changes are because graphically like this they're not actually that bad this game is going to be so fun i'm so looking forward to it